In the quiet corners of a thriving, pulsating city, layered with numerous stories once upon a time, I found myself entangled in a fierce confrontation. This wasn't your traditional battle with guns blazing and warriors charging, this was a fight with an unseen adversary, one that's not external but rather, disturbingly internal. This nemesis was none other than my own mind. Haunted by monsters hidden in the shadows and corners, it was like a ship lost in an endless stormy sea, tussled and turned by massive waves of anxiety and depression. Each day the sun would rise, and the city would come alive, yet I would find myself locked in this unending battle, with no apparent escape in sight. The city around me, with its towering skyscrapers and bustling streets, seemed oblivious to my silent struggle. The symphony of the city's sounds, laughter of children playing in the park, the hum of the traffic, the chatter of countless conversations, all merely accentuated my sense of isolation, as if I was in a glass box, watching the world go by, but unable to partake in it. Each moment was a painful reminder of how my own mind had turned into my worst enemy. Unseen by the world, this battle was intensely private, yet the pain was as real as the towering buildings around me. The city was noisy, yet in my world it was eerily quiet. The streets were yet I felt alone. The struggle, though silent, was deeply, profoundly felt. The irony of my situation was not lost on me. How amidst the chaos of the city, I was engaged in a quiet war within, fighting a foe that was my own creation. Yet even as the city thrived and life moved on, this battle did not cease. It continued, relentless and unyielding. It was a silent struggle, unseen but deeply felt. This was a journey that I embarked upon, not by choice, but by necessity. It was a path thrust upon me by the unpredictable nature of life. I did not set out on this journey with a sense of adventure or curiosity, but with a heavy sense of burden, the weight of my own existence bearing down on me. It was an unexpected and unwanted chapter of my life that unfolded itself before me, demanding my attention and challenging my sanity. Life has a funny way of throwing curveballs at us when we least expect it. One day, you're cruising along, feeling invincible, untouchable even. And then, before you know it, you find yourself in a dark tunnel with no visible light at the end. That was me, lost and aimlessly wandering in the labyrinth of my own thoughts, wrestling with my demons and struggling to make sense of my reality. The journey, as arduous as it was, took me to places I never thought I'd visit. It navigated me through the darkest corners of my mind, exposing me to fears and insecurities I never knew existed within me. Every step was a struggle, every breath a challenge. It was a brutal, relentless onslaught on my peace, pushing me to the very edge of my resilience. But it was more than just a journey, it was a battle, a war against my own self. My mind, once my greatest ally, into my fiercest adversary. It was a constant tug of war between logic and emotion, reality and fantasy, hope and despair. Yet in all its darkness, the journey also illuminated parts of me that I had previously overlooked. It taught me resilience, empathy, and the power of self-love. It was a journey of mental health challenges. Anxiety and depression, two words that carry such weight. They were my constant companions, inseparable and relentless. They painted my life in endless shades of gray, blurring the line between the actual world and the haunting echoes of my own mind. There was no reprieve from the relentless dull ache of melancholy and fear. Each ray of sunshine seemed distorted, filtered through the murky glass of my anguish, casting monstrous shadows on the canvas of my life. They wrapped around my soul, their icy fingers digging deep, sapping the joy out of every moment, turning the vibrant palette of my existence into a monochrome landscape devoid of color or life. The relentless ticking of the clock echoed in my empty rooms, each tick a stark reminder of the passing time, time lost to the gnawing emptiness within me. Days slowly rolled into nights, every moment seeming to stretch into an eternity. Each night was a mirror image of the one before, with darkness seeping into the crack of dawn. Sleep was elusive, a cruel joke, for the nightmares always found me in the depths of the night, wrapping their vile tendrils around my dreams, turning them into grotesque parodies. And then the dawn would arrive, not as a gleam of hope, but as another leaden day to endure. The sun would rise, but the darkness within me would not recede. The chirping of the birds, the rustling of leaves, all felt like sarcastic applause, a cruel mockery of my bleak existence. The nights melted into days, and the days into nights, with no respite from the constant hum of worry and despair. Yet in this battle I was not alone. I found strength in seeking professional help. 
Therapy became my steadfast companion, a reliable ally in pitched fight against my raging inner demons. It served as a vital tool, a tactical maneuver, a lifeline pulling me back from the abyss of despair. This therapeutic journey induced in me the skills to explore the labyrinthine depths of my own mind, to empathetically understand the towering waves of emotions threatened to capsize my boat. Therapy became my compass, guiding me through the foggy landscape of my psyche. It was like a seasoned sailor teaching me how to navigate the stormy seas, to learn patterns of the treacherous waters, and to anchor myself securely even in the face of the most menacing tempests. I gained the wisdom to, to draw tranquility from the chaotic vortex of my thoughts, to breathe deeply even when the air seemed heavy with dread, and to ground myself fully in the present, the here and now. It unfolded the secrets of mindfulness, of living each moment without the shadows of the past or the specters of the future. The potent power of self-care, of treating myself gently, of affording myself rest that I often denied myself. It taught me the beauty and strength of simply being, of existing without the burden of incessant thoughts, of finding solace in my own presence. I discovered the power of self-care, of rest, of simply being. The turning point in my life didn't materialize in a dramatic burst of enlightenment, but rather emerged gradually through a series of small everyday victories. Each sunrise that greeted me was an invitation to face another day, another chance to choose courage over fear. And with every dawn I would make that choice, a decision that was more than just a simple act, it was a defiant declaration of my will to persevere. With every tick of the clock, every beat of my heart, my resolve grew stronger. Every moment I chose to live, to breathe, to exist in spite of the crippling anxiety that threatened to consume me, was another battle won in this ongoing war against my inner demons. Each second that I refused to let fear dictate my actions, moment I decided to fight back rather than retreat into the confining solitude of my own mind, marked another victory. The victories were not grand, not monumental in nature. They were tiny, almost imperceptible. Often they went unnoticed by those around me, but to me, they were significant. They were the persistent echoes of resilience reverberating within the caverns of my soul. On the surface, these decisions seemed insignificant, perhaps even trivial, but collectively, they represented a powerful shift in my mindset. A shift away from fear and towards courage, from despair to hope, from defeat to victory. These were my triumphs, the quiet yet defiant steps I took towards reclaiming my life. They were the small, uncelebrated victories that helped me shape my narrative, my identity. Each time I chose to reach out instead of retreating into myself, served as a testament to my inner strength, my tenacity, my bold resolve to conquer my fears and claim victory over my life. These were my triumphs, my steps towards reclaiming my life. In this journey, I learned that mental health challenges aren't a sign of weakness, but a testament to the human spirit's resilience. I discovered that these challenges, regardless of their intensity or frequency, are not an indication of an inherent flaw or some hidden defect within us. Instead, they are a manifestation of the trials we face, the burdens we bear, and the battles we fight in our daily lives. I delved into the reality that mental health issues are not synonymous with frailty or vulnerability. Rather, they are symbolic of the strength and courage that it takes to continue fighting, to keep moving forward, even when the world seems to be against us. I realize that the societal stigma surrounding mental health is a cruel illusion, a false narrative that we cannot allow to dictate our understanding of these challenges. I learned to embrace the importance of seeking help, the invaluable role that therapy, counseling and medication can play in managing these struggles. I understood the necessity of leaning on others when the burden becomes too heavy, the cathartic relief that comes from sharing our pains, fears and insecurities with those who care about us. I learned to separate myself from my anxiety, from my depression. I realized that these mental health are not defining traits, but mere aspects of my complex identity. I learned that while they may be a part of me, they are not the entirety of who I am. I am more than my anxiety. I am more than my depression. I am more than my challenges. I am a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a beacon and courage. I am a warrior, a survivor, forever fighting, forever growing. I learned that I am not my anxiety, not my depression, I am more than my challenges. So, if you find yourself entangled in a battle analogous to this, it's essential for you to remember one thing. You are not alone. In the vast expanse of this world, 
there will always be others who resonate with your struggles, who face the same demons and emerged victorious. It is an important aspect of human nature to share and to empathize. So do not hold back, take that of faith and reach out to another, seek assistance, be it professional or from loved ones, seek guidance, soak in the wisdom of those who've walked this path before. Remember, every story, every experience has a lesson to give, and yours could be the guiding light someone else desperately needs. So share your story, unmask your vulnerabilities and let the world see your strength. Let them see that it is possible to fight and to win. Subscribe to this channel for more narratives of resilience, of individuals who have battled against all odds and emerged triumphant. This platform provides a safe haven for those struggling, ray of hope for those lost in the darkness, and a beacon of inspiration for those seeking motivation. Together, we form a community, a family that sticks together through thick and thin, a group that supports each other through the stormy seas. We do not merely exist, we survive and we thrive, one wave at a time.